Yo, what is up, my mullet? Sharp here, and this is another episode of Pro Tips. In this episode, I'm going to be going over bootleg slaying. I'll teach you guys all the cutoffs, spawn traps, where you need to be set up as a slayer, the main position to hold, and all that jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to start off with the break on the street side of the map. Now, what I recommend doing here is going off to the right side. That's what I'd like to do. But what you can do is push up street. There's different things you can do on this map as a slayer. You don't have to go the same way every time. So... Off to start, I like to come over here to this right side. Uh, some people like to call this guns, jails, bars, whatever you want to call it. I come over here to the right side and try to take control of the patio because whoever controls patio in this game pretty much controls the whole map. So I like to get up here, come on these stairs, get on these barrels, or jump up on this head glitch right here and just try to take control of the patio and help out the objective player. Capture the objective. Now, as for the other break, it's pretty much the same thing as the other side. It doesn't matter where you really go. You can go anywhere you feel comfortable going. I personally like to go straight through this broken wall right here and either break off to the street or sometimes I like to come to this middle right here. But what you got to watch out for is people rushing middle, people stunning, people nading. Uh, so I like to stun through these little bushes right here and then come right here and just try to aim down their middle alley. But you also got to watch out for people coming up your street in case your teammate dies over there. Or if no one pushes over there, then you got to be sure of people pushing up street and you got to watch that. For the flag. Capture the objective. Now let's move on to the main spot that you want to hold down. This is going to be the spot where the most action is going to go. The Slayer is going to want to hold this down to help the flag grabber give the most flags as possible. And this is where he's going to pick up the most of his kills. So, the main spot on this map that pretty much everyone's going to be going towards is this top patio area. So, if you're spawning on this side, some helpful head glitches are... There's wood pallets, get on these barrels, sit on these stairs behind this wood box. And also another good spot if you're on this side of the map is to sit behind these cinder blocks. Now what you have to watch out for coming up here is people just lurking around, sitting in here. Uh, people can get up here in this head glitch or coming from the other side, people looking through this little crack under here. And you have to watch out for people just doing that. People like to lurk around this spot the whole game because they know that this is where everyone's going to be going. This is where they're going to be getting all their kills. So... As your job as a slayer to hold this down for your team, because then the flag guy can push right up here to the left side and come back here and try to go for a grab. Now I know usually every Slayer video I go over the don'ts of the map, the things that you don't want to do, but really on this map there aren't really that many don'ts, uh, except for when you spawn over in this corner you want to kind of be wary of pushing up street too much because then that's going to mess up your team spawn. You always want to push back to the flag, now that goes for everything on every map. And same for if you're on this side, you want to make sure you're not pushing up here too much because you want them to spawn in this back corner. That's pretty much it as a Slayer, all you need to know. Uh, and then we'll go over the spawns later and pretty much make sure you're not pushing the wrong ways and make sure you're not pushing the spawns because the spawns on this map can be really just really fishy and really weird so uh, I'll go over the spawns with you guys. Alright so like I said we're going to go over the spawns and the spawns on this map are extremely just unpredictable you can't really predict anything. Their main spawn if you are spawning on the other side and you're pushing their flag you're trying to grab the flag over here their main spawn is going to be over here in this back corner so what you want to do to give them that spawn. Now I'm going to go through this with you guys. You want to push back through here, try to get control of this area in this head glitch. And then you want to have your flag carrier, the guy that's going to be grabbing the flag, come through the middle to grab the flag. You also want to have someone hanging out in this area right here. Hang out right here because they can't get a spawn out here and they will spawn behind you. So, their main spawn is going to be in that back corner. But if you don't have anyone in this area, they'll spawn right here. But if you have someone in this area, but you don't have someone in here, they can spawn in here. So, this map's really weird with the spawns, you know, it just... It's kind of unpredictable. You have to be set up perfect to get a spawn trap going. Uh, and so, the main, let me go over that again. The main four places that you want flag carrier coming through the middle. Guy hanging out in this alley right here, making sure they don't spawn right here. Guy right here, over here in this head glitch. And then the last guy is going to be, should be over here on street. Uh, maybe sitting right here in this middle behind these boxes, trying to make sure people can't push up street and come behind you guys in the middle. So, those are the main four places you need to be to hold down the spawns if they are spawning on the street side. And now let's go over to the other side. 
All right, so now this side is not going to be as hard. This this is pretty straightforward. They're going to spawn over here on this side of the map. They can either spawn over here in the street, sometimes over in these corners, spawn in this little coffee hut out here, and they'll push up street. Uh, they'll sometimes even spawn back here. Mainly what you guys have to do is push them, try to get in their green room. Fly guy's going to come up the middle and pull. Have a guy over by patio, and then have a guy over by street. Maybe have a guy middle and a guy street, because they'll try to push out street and come up behind you. So you want to watch... This hole right here, this door, and that coffee shop, and sometimes they can spawn all the way over to the left. Now, if you're the guy pulling the flag and the guy over by green, you got to watch for people getting behind these pallets right here in the head glitch behind the dumpster because people like to sit there all the time. So, make sure you're in those spots. should go pretty easily for this side. This is going to be the easier side to pull on than the other side because, like I said, the spawns are just messed up on that side. Alright, so that is it for this video. I know I was kind of delayed with putting out this bootleg map, and I know that this is kind of a short video, but bootleg is pretty straightforward as far as slaying. Uh, me, personally, I don't like playing on bootleg. It's one of my least favorite maps. The class I would suggest you run is ACR with Extreme Conditioning. If you're not a fan of the ACR, this is one of those maps that you can slay with an SMG, so you can use a PP90 or an MP7. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, then don't be afraid to click the like button, and... I'm going to be uploading a, a nade spots video. It's going to be the next, next S&D tips on dome. We're going to go over the nade spots on that map. Hopefully either or we're going to work on it tonight, I think, either tonight or tomorrow. So it will be either be up tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So expect that. As always, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe and stay, stay strong with the Mullet Nation. Peace.